they call me the Big Bad Booty Daddy. Yo, what's happening, everybody? It's Reggie, you know who it is. It's me, it's Paddy Mike. And I'm going to be honest, okay? Um, I I was going to start putting up a lot more videos once Modern Warfare 3 came out. Um, but one, I initially was having a lot of fun playing it. Two, Assassin's Creed came out. Three, Skyrim came out. And I basically forgot about Modern Warfare 3 for like a week. And it was only out for a week at that stage. But anyway, here's, here's my second Modern Warfare 3 video. Hopefully it gets a little bit more views than the last one. So please... If you would, please click like, leave a comment, and you know send it to people. Let let people know that I'm actually still producing videos because I have five, 430 subs and I got like 100 views on the last video. Now I would like that to be sort of closer to 50% if possible, even closer to 30% if possible. Um, but you know, whatever. Fuck it. Who cares? Um, what you're seeing now is some domination. I jumped into a game with Suburban Legend the other night. And um, I had possibly the worst start I've ever had in a, a game of Call of Duty ever. And that includes when I actually sucked balls properly at this game. I mean, I still suck. But I think I go 0 and 7 in the first like minute and a half of this or 2 minutes or whatever. Because, you know, I, I was well, I was trying a different gun. I, I've, I've been using the UMP a lot. And now I've been using the P90 a lot. But I was trying whatever the fuck that is. Is that the SCAR or the SER or something? The SER maybe? Um, the SER with the red dot. And I was trying... And I was just... I, I was playing like... I, I don't know. Like, fuck it. Uh, I was just... It was awful. And I just... I kept dying. I was so slow. Um, I am starting to understand why guys like Jay Easy and, and NASA and stuff are complaining about there being a lack of unlimited sprint. Because fuck, I seem to move slow. That's why I didn't really notice it before when I was using the SMGs, and I was just fucking turning around places. It was great, um, but when I'm using an assault rifle, it's just fucking awful. And at this point, I decided, okay, right, I'm playing like balls. I can't fucking kill anyone. And how did I not kill him? But anyway, I, I decided, right, I gotta change this shit up. Something has to happen. Um, and I, I I play slightly differently, and then then I get back into playing the way that I I, I want to play. So I do a. I'm apologizing now, but I do a little bit of hair glitching. Um, just to try and get a fucking kill on the board. You know what I mean? You gotta do what you gotta do. Um, you gotta adapt to how things are going. And things were going like shit for me. So I had to adapt and then evolve. That's how I'm gonna put it. And that's how I'm gonna leave it. <laughs> but yeah, we've got roughly... Thir well, actually roughly about 11 minutes together here. Um, because I have like a minute and a half or two minutes worth of a bonus clip at the end of the video so please stay and check that out and actually it, it, it just shows how, how great the spawns are in this game so you know you can send that part to people as well if you want um, but what I want to talk about is something that has just just popped up in the last couple of days and I've seen two people do videos on it yay there's my first kill um, but yeah uh, I, this this is this is this is bizarre to me, okay? Now I knew there were some fucking low life bastards on fucking YouTube. And I've mentioned it before. I mean, when White Boy said that he wanted to be part of the London riots where people were fucking dying. People were having their fucking livelihoods destroyed. People were having their lives, their homes, their businesses fucking destroyed. White boy wanted to be a part of that so he could get himself some free PlayStation stuff. Are you shitting me, you fuckbag? You make fucking thousands and thousands off YouTube every fucking month. But I don't want to get into that because that's not what I'm, ta I'm talking about here. Right? Now, th I first actually caught this with uh, Chaos Silencer. And I will put a link to his video in the description. Um, and then 15 minutes ago, I was trying to think of something to talk about for the commentary. And that's why I haven't put one up. Uh, is because I've had nothing really that I really wanted to talk about. There was nothing. And, and by the way, nice two piece there with a the pistol. Yeah, I was um, But this is something that I actually want to talk about. Um, and I, it was I saw it on on Jimmy's video yesterday, and I saw it on Snacks' video this morning. He put it up yesterday, but I only saw it this morning. Um, how do we grow on YouTube? Okay, gone are the days where you grow simply off the. Literally, seriously, it, it you don't grow off the sweat of your own back anymore, um, and the the power of your own brain and the quickness of your fucking reflexes and your fingers, um, 
And it's true. It's a sad fact, but it's true. I mean, if if you did grow simply off your own talent, then Lefty Lefty would have half a million subs. It's as simple as that. He would have half a million subs. Yeah, oh, look at that. I got me a stealth bomber. You see, you see what you get. It's awesome. Um, that's why I love support packages. And yes, they're to help people who aren't very good at the game do better at the game. And I take full advantage of that because I'm not very good at the game. But Lefty, Lefty is one of the best fucking Call of Duty players that I've ever played with, ever seen, ever watched. If you go and watch one of his videos, the dude's reflexes are off the fucking chart. His instincts are off the chart, and his map knowledge is insane. So, you know, he he deserves way more subs than what he's got, but. He doesn't have them because, unfortunately, your skill level does not equate to subs. Okay? What you need is your skill level to keep subs that you get from other people. That's that's the thing, right? Any subs that I, I have 437 subs or something like that at this current moment in time. Now, I restarted the channel three months ago. And I was very happy with how it grew. But 77 subs came from Team Martin. Um, because I gave him a Battlefield 3 early access beta code. Um, 17 subs came from NASA1 who uploaded one of my videos to his channel when he was doing the opportunity thing. Um, you know, now those those are predominantly dead subs. I would guarantee that all 94 of those are dead. Never watch another video. Um, some of the guys maybe from NASA's thing came because that was actually one of my videos uploaded. It wasn't... Uh, you know, go say thanks to this guy, like T. Martin said, which I was very grateful for, to be honest. Um, but it's, you know, I, I'll forget it. I'll, I'll just get back into the main topic. Um, what what Jimmy's video and what Snacks's video were about were shout outs on YouTube, and now everybody has to have a shout out on YouTube. Nobody in the last two years has grown without getting shout outs you get yourself friendly with people you get gaming with them they have big channels and people see you in the in the kill feed and in the the lobby score leaderboards and stuff like that and then then the guy will say listen this is the dude that i'm playing with he's starting a new channel go 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 sub to him like take for instance perfect example standoff team money now I love the dude. The dude is fucking absolutely outstanding as well. Another fucking fantastic gamer. But the dude always played with Jay. Was always in Jay Z's live streams. So everybody knew Standoff Team Money. And Team Money only put a, only started YouTube like two months ago. And boom! Because people knew him. Because they already were aware of him. And then, you know, Jay, Jay said, Snacks, everybody sort of said, Yo, Team Money has now started himself a YouTube channel. Boom! There he has them. But he has the skill to keep them. But that's... If he had started that without... Before he gamed with anybody... It would have taken him longer to grow. It, it, you know... How the fuck did I not kill him? Ugh, but why is he lying there like that? You little homo. Um, but what we have now is a situation where... Huge YouTubers... And... I have no problem naming them. Because I'm tiny. What the fuck's it gonna matter if I name somebody? But Woody's Gamertag has been... You know called out on it by snacks this morning or on video last night or whatever and what Woody is doing is he is taking money from people for shout outs and apparent now I don't know the figure of money involved but apparently it is a hefty sum of money two piece uh, um, if I were to pay any more than fucking 50p for a fucking shout out it would be too much even 50p is too much which in, in your, your language is 75 cents um, you know why why do people think this is okay? Oh, they're selling a, a business arrangement. Ugh. No, they're fucking not. They're taking advantage of people who don't know any better. Basically, right, what happened, what, what Snacks caught was uh, a 15 year old kid that he knows or knows of, um, two piece again, and what a defend. Um, fucking Franco Barese up in here. And that's for anybody that knows, you know, old, old style Italian soccer. Um, you know, it's it's taking advantage of, of, of a kid, 15 year old, who legally cannot enter into any contracts, okay? Because he's too young, and he doesn't know any better, and he's hit, he's hit a plateau in his channel, and he wants help to get that shifted again. And, oh, you know, I'll give you a shout out if, if you give me money. Now, 
Woody. Woody makes fucking, again, like white boy, thousands of dollars a year off YouTube because he has, I don't know, like fucking 300,000, 400,000 subs. I don't even fucking know what he has because I've never been subscribed to him. Um, so how, how is he helping this kid? Why not help him? You know, game with him. Work it like that. Don't take his money and go, hey, guys, go check out there because he's paid me money. How's that going to help our kid? It's fucking... And the, the way that I, I would like these people to look at it is, they're saying it's fine because it's a business transaction. Look at those bad... Sp uh, fucking awful spawn right there for those guys, but one of them killed me anyway, so... Hmm. Um, but they, th they think it's okay because it's a business deal, you know? How about this? How would you like somebody to take advantage of your kids like that? Okay? Your 15-year-old kid pays somebody a $1,000 for fuck all. How would you like that? You wouldn't. You just fucking wouldn't. You wouldn't stand for it. So why fucking do it to them? That's that's my point, okay? Now, I'm going to leave you. I'm not going to talk through the bonus clip. Um, but just enjoy my stupidity and then some awful spawns. Uh, I will probably rant about this again tomorrow. Because it's actually pretty annoying. But yo, peace, love, and puppies, folks. Enjoy yourselves. Securing aid. 